Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I've got some big important news on manufactured home pricing. If you've been looking for a new home over the last couple of years, you've probably noticed prices have gone up. A lot. Over the last two years, I've been tracking the increases on manufactured homes, reporting on how much prices were going up and why in real time as I receive notices from the factory I deal with. 2020 to present was a wild time. The price increases were coming far more frequently than I'd ever seen before until one day, March 15th to be exact, they just stopped. Now the talk seems to have shifted to interest rates. I'm hearing the R word more often all the time and the icing on the cake is I have finally received my first official manufactured home price decrease notice ever, which increases the chances of people hitting the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you just bought a manufactured home like I did, probably not the news you were hoping for. However, if you've been keeping your powder dry to buy the dip, get ready. What I'm going to do is tell you what's happening with prices, give you the reasons why, and let you know where I think we're going from here. If you clicked on this video to try and figure out what's going on with prices or to find out if now is a good time to buy, buckle in because there is a lot going on. The big news is that yes, prices of a new manufactured home from the factory I deal with have been reduced by up to 5%. But more on that shortly. I've been actively selling manufactured homes since 2009 and I can honestly say this is the first time I have been given an official price decrease notice. That shouldn't come as a surprise because I got into this industry right at the tail end of the global financial crisis so prices had likely been slashed right before I showed up on the scene. Manufactured home shipments per year hit 146,900 homes shipped in 2005 and gradually decreased until they bottomed out in 2009 at 49,700 homes shipped. No wonder I barely made any sales that year. Since then, sales of manufactured homes slowly increased to 105 homes shipped in 2021, more than doubling the 2009 low, and it's looking like 2022 will be higher yet, with 50,000 homes shipped by the end of May, however not on pace to touch 2005 output. With a gradual increase of homes shipped between 2009 and 2021, I received gradual price increases, usually one to two times per year, until 2020 when things went bananas and I was getting one price increase per month. On March 15th of this year, I received my last price increase notice, which unless something changes could mark the official top of the market in my area. The notice said due to rising materials effective immediately, there will be a three to 5% increase across all series. One thing people might not know is some factories are currently running non-fixed pricing to their dealers, which means my price wasn't locked in until a certain number of days before my home was actually being built. Non-fixed pricing was implemented after the price of building materials went nuts in 2020 and 2021 to protect factories from selling for less than their actual cost ended up being because wait times were so long and with how fast materials were increasing, they didn't know how much a build would cost six months down the road. For example, I ordered a home in February. The price I ended up paying was actually 5% more than I originally thought due to the price increase in March. I'll be the first to admit non-fixed pricing does make it difficult for dealers and customers to plan their lives not knowing how much they're going to be paying from the very beginning. If anything that's been implemented over the last two years goes away, I hope it's that. Shortly after the home was paid for, the first indication that things might be slowing down came on June 20th as the factory moved a steel surcharge that had been placed on all homes that had a steel frame. That notice said the one material category that seems to have flattened is steel. We are not certain if this is a longer term trend or a short term market dislocation. To that end, the steel surcharge will be reduced by $10 per house foot on single section homes and $20 per house foot on double section homes. The home I ordered is a 66 foot single section home, which means it would have been $660 less had it come out of the factory a couple weeks later. Not the best timing, but it is what it is. At the time, I thought it was possible that removing the steel surcharge signified a decrease in demand and could be foreshadowing more decreases to come. On July 8th, all dealers who buy from the factory that I deal with received an official price decrease notice of 5%. This is the news people have been waiting for. The notice says we have been following all commodity pricing changes very closely throughout the last two years. We're starting to experience downward pressure on some commodities resulting in lowering some of our input costs. To that end, this will be reflected in new base pricing. We are decreasing most base prices on all product lines up to 5%. Obviously this doesn't undo two years of aggressive price increases, but you know what? It's a start. Here's my hot take on the price decrease. The surcharge removal and price decrease notice say the reasoning is lower commodity input costs and if we look at the price of lumber compared to the start of the year, it doesn't take a rocket surgeon to figure out that yes, 
That is true. However, I do wonder if they had been getting more orders, would prices still have been decreased? Think about it. If they were booking months out in advance with more orders than they can build in a reasonable amount of time, would we even be having this conversation? I really don't think so. The prices would have remained the same and they would have had a higher profit on each house. They are a business after all and most businesses exist to make a profit so we can't blame them for that. What I think is happening is their build costs are going down. Yeah, sure. But the demand probably is too. Keep in mind, I have absolutely nothing to gain from demand being lower. If anything, it's a bad thing for me because I've got houses to sell and the last thing I want is a market like 2009 where a lot less people were looking to buy houses. Here's the thing. Prices have been increasing rapidly for the last couple of years and it didn't seem sustainable to continue at that pace forever, but I never know for sure what's going on until it happens. I'm a guy who thought 2019 was going to be the top of the market, so even though I tell you exactly what I see happening when I see it, I'm certainly not a fortune teller. The price I'm paying for a manufactured home now compared to 2020 has almost doubled. I don't think that's going on forever. If you're one of the people who's been waiting to buy, let me tell you what you might be able to expect if you're shopping now. Going back to the monthly stats of manufactured homes shipped, so far the output in 2022 has been higher every single month compared to 2021. Not really an indication of any kind of dip in demand yet. Keep in mind, a lot of factories had a longer than normal backlog when things were humming that still needs to be worked through. The houses we're seeing coming out of the factory now were probably ordered sometime in late 2021 or early 2022. Mine's a perfect example. It was ordered early in 2022 and finished in June. The price decrease received is likely a reaction to build slots that aren't being filled for later this year or early 2023. If you're shopping now, it's probably still too early to expect any big sales or discounts from dealers because they're still playing catch up with orders and setting up a lot of houses. I think factories are the leading indicator of what's coming and some of the big players in the space haven't exactly been the darlings of the stock market so far this year. Both Cavco and Champion Skyline stock prices are down around 29% year to date, which doesn't give a lot of confidence in the outlook from Wall Street. If the manufactured home market actually slows down and it looks to me like it will, it will result in a far better buying experience for customers. Less customer shopping will result in more time and attention on those who are which is great. The way I see it, there's always going to be reasons to buy or not buy a home. The people who've been waiting for things to cool off might just get their opportunity to buy, but when things are cooling off, fear sets in and those same people might wait longer for prices to bottom. If they're unable to time the bottom, which is extremely hard to do, the entire cycle starts over again and I'm back to making price increase videos. I think there is an opportunity to buy coming, but probably a time to be cautious, don't overextend, and buy what you can afford. It looks to me the manufactured home market, at least in my area, will be slowing down. On the way up, the manufactured home market mimicked what was happening in the entire real estate and new construction market, so I wouldn't be surprised if what I'm talking about here apply to all other sectors of housing. This isn't exactly what I would call good news for someone who's in the business of selling manufactured homes, but the information is the information, and I think the more I can give to viewers, the better their buying experience will be. As always, I will be keeping an eye on the entire manufactured home market and posting relevant updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.